In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about IntelliJ. If you're not using IntelliJ, uh, it doesn't matter if you're using Ultimate or the Community Edition of IntelliJ, uh, you can go ahead and watch this video. But if you're using a different IDE, such as Eclipse or Eclipse STS, I don't think this is going to apply specifically to those IDEs. It has been uh, literally over a decade since I used Eclipse, so I don't know if this will work for that. So if you're using a different ID other than IntelliJ, I suggest you uh, skip this video. But for people that are, are using IntelliJ, I want to give you some tips about using setting up your workspace inside of IntelliJ. So here what we have, we have three different microservices that we are working with. So we have the beer service, the beer order service, and the beer inventory service. So these are three different independent projects that we are working with. And if we are working with them concurrently, this does happen quite frequently, even though microservices are air quotes independent, you'll often find times where you are working on more than one service, testing their interaction. So not an uncommon scenario to be working with multiple microservices at the same time. Here in the course, obviously we are uh, working on these concurrently. So you might wanna set up a workspace for all three of these. Now I'm going to go through in this video and show you how to have one IntelliJ window and we'll bring in each one of these microservices as a uh, air quotes modules inside of IntelliJ. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to toggle over to the command line and this is my working directory for the course and here's the repositories that we have so far. So I'm going to make a directory and let's call this uh, MSC. Actually, let's call this brewery. And I'm just going to call it WS for uh, workspace, like so. And CD2, like so. So now I am in that directory. Now I'm going to come back over to IntelliJ now, toggle over to IntelliJ. And what I want to do is here is I'm going to come up to File, New, Project. And now I want to say Empty Project. I'm going to say next. And let's see here. I called that MSC Brewery WS. And when you work with as many projects as I do, it's very helpful to uh, name things consistently. I could easily call this project whatever I want. And now it's going to line up to that in the directory. So I'm coming back over here. So I want to make sure that I have that folder that I just created. And that is actually off the screen a little bit. Sorry about that. Now we can see that I am setting this up and I'm just going to say finish. And this is going to create a empty project. And I am going to say project structure. So there's nothing there right now. So I'm just going to say, okay. So if I come over here, there's nothing that I guess I have a PHP. <laughs> plug-in for IntelliJ. That's why that's coming up. So there, there's really nothing here inside of this project, which is perfectly fine. It's exactly what I want. So now what I want to come over here is I'm going to come back over to Chrome and let's grab the beer service. I'm going to say clone or download. I'm going to copy that. So that gives me that. So I'm going to come over here back to the terminal, say get clone, paste that in. So that is going to clone that. You can see that the beer service is there now. So I'm going to do the same thing for the order service. So that is going to clone the order service, like so. And we'll also do the same thing for the inventory service. So get clone, like so. And let me clear the screen here and let's just do an LS. So now we can see I did an LS minus LTRA, which does a, a sort long. And then also the A shows the hidden folder. So we can see that we have dot idea there. That is where IntelliJ is keeping its files for the workspace. And what I've done here is I've checked out three projects into this directory. The directories have been checked out of GitHub, but IntelliJ doesn't know anything about those. I'm going to come back over to IntelliJ now. And now IntelliJ, what I want to do is come up here to File. And I want to say New Module from Existing Sources. And now I want to come up here to Micro. 
the brewery WS. And let's take the uh, beer service first. I'm doing this out backwards, but take the beer service first. And we'll say open. And now it's saying, do I want to do that for Maven? Yes. And I'm just going to say yes. And I do like to use the import projects automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, a lot of times you'll see me blow by that and forget. That's uh, my own fault. Let's uh, go ahead and say next there. And I don't need that. And these uh, different profiles I do not need. These are different things that I use, especially the Velo ones. That's my day job. And then that is good. So I'll say next. And here I want to give it the SDK. That is Java 11. And now IntelliJ is going to go ahead and import that. And we want to do the same thing for the other two. So I'm going to say File, New, Module from Existing Sources. So we'll come up one. And we did the beer service. So let's go ahead and do the beer inventory service. I apologize if I'm getting out of the sequence that we had previously. And definitely don't need that. And we'll say OK and Java 11. And that is going to go ahead and port that. You can see down on the bottom it's bringing those in. And then finally, I want to do that last one. New module from existing sources. And we want to come up here. We've done the uh, beer service, inventory service, and the last one is the beer order service. So we'll go ahead and bring that in. And we're going to go ahead and bring in a project from a maven and you can see here that's already pre-checked we'll say next and we don't need that one and we'll say next and again java 11 finish and that is going to bring that in and now you can see these projects show up here as different modules within this uh, one project so let's take the beer project and we can expand that out and now we can see this looks like a normal project but now we have all three combined in a single window. So this gives us access. So keep in mind that these are three separate GitHub repositories and they and three separate projects. There's three different Maven projects. They just happen to be self-contained in a single IntelliJ workspace. And you can see here, if I open up the Maven tab, we have three different projects in here. I can come in and run lifecycle goals on these. Let's bring up lifecycle. I can just come in and say package. And project JDK is not specified, even though we did tell it to. So what we've got to do is come up here. Let's see here. Yeah, that, that was weird. So sometimes there's a little glitch there. So we're going to say that apply. Let's double check the others. Even though we did tell it, that's a uh, air quotes feature of IntelliJ. <laughs> So we'll apply all those. Now we should be good. Let's go ahead and package. Make sure that we are still in fact. I might hit the enforcer plugin, which I did. Uh, again, I saw this in a previous video. So the version of IntelliJ I'm on is running Maven 339. It is going to be fixed very soon. So this is not something that you'll be doing frequently. So I think I'm on uh, IntelliJ 2019.1. And the EAP versions, I usually run the EAP versions, and, and those uh, do have the, the latest version of Maven uh, included in that. And that, that's going to change very soon. So let me double check the version while that, that's running. So yeah, I'm on uh, 2019.1 right now. That's going to change very soon. I, I was using the EAP version of the 2019 and ran into some problems. So the EAP version is usually pretty good, but uh, I've downgraded to the official release at this point in time. So now you can see here that we have the three projects, and now I can work on these pretty independently. This is something that I personally like to do is where I have the things I'm working on in a single workspace rather than uh, coming up here and changing windows between the projects. So I set that up Brewery uh, WS for workspace. So it gives me one workspace to work with for the multiple projects rather than changing the window. So hopefully you found this uh, little tips and tricks helpful. Uh, I'll try to add more of those as I go forward about the workflows that I personally use uh, when I'm doing development with IntelliJ.